go to Matthew chapter 14, verse 34, 36. Now we're familiar with the woman with the issue of blood. That's in Matthew chapter 9. We're familiar with that. I want to say this. When God does something, sometimes word gets out and people start doing what works. Now, we're familiar with Matthew 9. It's in several of the Gospels. Also, Luke, I think, 4 or 5. But we're familiar with the woman with the issue of blood where we hear that she uses all of her money she chases all the physicians. She has nothing else left. So she comes into town one day to hear that Jesus is coming into town. So she does something that nobody else has ever done before. But she decides to take it upon herself to press through the crowd get on her hands and knees and crawl to Jesus. Now, Matthew chapter 9, the story goes as Jesus was walking, so many people crowded around, that she reaches through, grabs and touches the hem of the garment. Now, most theologians will tell you this. They will tell you the reason why she touched the hem of the garment is because when the priest would put on the undergarment, that underneath the undergarment, it was the law that was written. And underneath every tassel and every, every bell, there was a law and there was a healing and there was the scriptures. So she was reaching and she was touching the word. But I just want to make this simple for you tonight. She wasn't trying to be philosophical she wasn't trying to do things right by coming to touch the Word. She said, if I can just touch just the hem, the bottom, the very least, if I can just touch that, if I can get close enough, if I can touch it, I'll be made whole. Now, I need to tell you something here. Now, what happened was, was her faith grabbed a hold of this thing. She pressed through the crowd. She grabbed and touched the hem of the garment. The Bible said that Jesus stopped, and he asked the disciples, who touched me? Well, the King James Version says that they're wondering, why in the world would you ask a question like this when there's people thronging you on every side, they're touching you, they're trying to get close to you, and you asked us a question so crazy as in who touched you but what Jesus was saying was there's somebody out here that's got some faith that has pulled virtue out of me and I felt it when they turned to look the little woman that was standing there and the Bible said she knew in an instant when she touched the hem of his garment she felt the healing power of God and she felt the blood dry up Jesus says a simple thing, go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. But we get over into Matthew chapter 14, listen to this. And when they were gone over, they came into the land of Genesaret. And when the men of that place had knowledge of him, they sent out into all the country round about and brought unto him all that were diseased. And besought him that they might only touch the hem of his garment. Listen to this. One woman started a phenomenon. Come on, somebody. You thought there was only one woman that touched the hem of the garment, but no. One woman started a phenomenon that men, they brought people and said, look, this man has got something so powerful that all you got to do is touch the hem of his garment. I'm about to tell you something tonight. This is a Thursday night and there's not a lot came out. But can I tell you that after tonight, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to say, you need to get to Life Changes Church and get a prayer cloth because, because I showed up that night and I got a hold of something. And I 
took it. I took it to Grandma. I took it to Uncle. I took it to Billy Joe. And the heel, they got a job. Their marriage is all right. I'm telling you something tonight. There's fixing to be a phenomenon in 2015. They're going to find out that there is a God. He's a real God. He's a big God. He's a mighty God. He's living in Pittsburgh. He's living inside of you. And yes, just, just a simple thing as a prayer cloth can turn things around. And as many as tusks were made perfectly whole. Let's go back up to that 34th verse. Get this. And when they were going over, they came into the land of Genesaret. And when the men of that place had knowledge of him, they sent out into all the country round about and brought unto him all that were diseased and besought him that they might only touch the hem of his garment and as many as touched it were made listen to that perfectly 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 whole Take me to Acts, please, real quick. Acts chapter 19. Talk about the Apostle Paul. So that from his body were brought into the sick handkerchiefs or aprons, and the diseases parted from them, and the evil spirits went out of them. <laughs> God is such a mighty God. Sometimes it's, it's the simple things. We make it complicated. I like Jackie Coltrane's words. We make it too complicated to follow God. And it's not complicated. It's obedience. And obedience is simple because when you walk in obedience, you ain't got to figure nothing out. You just got to listen to what's been told and just do it. When you go on your job and you in obedience, your boss says, I need you to go get the shovel, go dig a hole, put it in the wheelbarrow, bring it over here and dump it right here. And you're trying to figure, okay, what am I going to do today? Just listen. Obey. God says, I want you to get up and I want you to pray today. I want you to pray for the nations. Sometimes we think, oh, my, I can't pray for the nations. I mean, I, I ain't even been out of Kansas. I, I, I barely crossed the line over to Missouri. I pray for the nations. God, do you want me to pray for the nations? It's a simple act of obedience. We just do what we're told. I was sitting in my office this week, and God said, I want you to have a miracle healing service. I want you to pray over handkerchiefs. I want you to pray over, over napkins, over whatever they have. I want you to know them. I want you to pray over them. God said, I'm going to do something in Life Changers Church. I'm going to bring a healing. It's a simple thing. He's a simple God. The King James uh, uses the word simplicity. It says this, the simplicity of the gospel that men would be saved. It's not hard. It's obedience. 